Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I am your host, Bill Harris, and this is Life Questions. This program looks at questions from a biblical perspective, and we thank you for your viewer questions, which we have turned over to a panel of local ministers to research and return with insightful answers. And I want you to meet them right now. We are joined by Pastor LeBaron Cox of the Christian Cornerstone Ministries here in Lima, followed by Pastor Scott Steed of Christian Cross Church in Elida, Ohio. And rounding off our panel today, Pastor Rich Reiki of Teens for Christ. Gentlemen, we're happy to have you with us today. Great to be here. Good to be here. You know, we entered into some good questioning at the very end of the program that we couldn't finish before it did in fact end. And I'd like to pick up where we left off last week. We talked about this question that was sent in from a viewer. Men need to lead more in their homes, church, and community. What can we do to encourage men to step up and lead? Uh, I think we have to start with prayer. Uh, you know, when there was trouble in the land, uh, what did Jehoshaphat do? Jehoshaphat called a fast. He called the people together and he called the people together to pray. And I think that that's what, number one, as pastors, we need to do is pray. Uh, not, you know, for our community, but for the men of our communities. You know, we need to pray that God will draw them in and God will put a desire in their hearts to step up and to lead. Mm -hmm. You know, to look around and say, this is wrong and this is broken and we need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it, the men, uh, I think if we pray, and then like the, the brother said, we, we encourage them, we, yeah, we, uh, we inspire them, we give mm -hmm. them an opportunity yeah. uh, in the church, you know, uh, we give them an opportunity to, to be a part of the service or to be a part of God's work or to, you know, uh, uh, be a part of what's going on and, and let them see uh, how um, the word of God can change their lives, but can also through them change their community or change their workplace or, you know, change what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and it's important to get them involved and to uh, make them feel a part of what's going on. Mm -hmm. What are some of the tools that we can look to, Pastor Reiki, to uh, use to help mentor slash uh, tutor uh, slash disciple men so that they grow strong in the church and become, become good leaders and good communicators? Well, in, in my experience, there's no substitute for the Word of God. The problem mm -hmm. is that most people don't know how to read it. They feel intimidated mm -hmm. by it and they don't see it as applying to their lives. So if, if we're going to have an effective discipleship program, what we need to do is sit down with the Word and read a chapter with somebody. And what's God speaking to you? How, how, how is God asking you to live as a result of this passage? What, how, you know, what, mm -hmm. what's, how are you encouraged to be more faithful in, in work or family? And, and then, you know, where I probably failed as a pastor for most of my ministry is, I did a great job about encouraging people in a pep talk on Sunday or whatever, but the reality is they, Monday they got to go to work and try to live out this faith that I've been idealizing in a, in a world that's going to hell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that it's difficult to live in. Mm -hmm. And it, so if our answers and our example and our witness doesn't help the men in our lives you know, live out their faith at the truck stop and live out their faith on the assembly line and live out their faith while they're driving bus for the school <laughs> or in the classroom or in the office, then we're missing the mark. Our, our answers have to relate to real life issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's excellent. Go ahead. You want to add to that? I do. Uh, <laughs> the thing about it is, you know, we also have to... Uh, let them know or you know i guess pound it home that it's a decision that they have to make you know what i mean as a pastor you know you say probably the area you fit i, I you know don't look i i guess to me brother don't look at it that way because everybody has to make it you know what i mean there's only so much you can do as a pastor sure. mm -hmm. you know and yes we have to it has to be the word we can't be looking to outside programs or you know uh, theatrics or you know uh, routines or something like that it has to be the word uh, but they also we have to lay it out for them that that's a choice that they have to make 
You know what I mean? God, God's a gentleman. The Holy Spirit's a gentleman. He's not going to force them to do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to choose and want to le to live that life on the assembly line. You know, because there are going to be people on the assembly line who are going to ridicule or, you know, remember who they used to be. Well, you can't think about who you used to be. you got to remember who you are now in Christ, mm -hmm. you know, and make that decision that you're going to step up and be that leader in your home. You're going to step up and be that leader in the church. Mm -hmm. uh, we we have to uh, lay it out there for him, challenge but all him. right, right. Challenge. challenge people to be better, to do better, to uh, inspire them, to uh, you know, to really, really push people. Hey, you can do it. You know, mm -hmm. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. And when we when we get behind people and we let them know that we believe in them, we we we're uh, right there with them. I I think there is a a greater opportunity for men if if they just were challenged and inspired and encouraged. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I think seeing an example, mm -hmm. right? I mean, mm -hmm. we, if we read a book. Or, or hear a talk, mm -hmm. uh, the likelihood of implementing that is slim to none, mm -hmm. right? But if I see it in action, right? That's Absolutely. why YouTube is taken Absolutely. off. You know, you want to change the engine in your sure. car, turn on a YouTube video and somebody <laughs> will show you step by step, which is different than reading the old blue book parts manual, mm -hmm. right? To, to say, how do I take slot A and screwdriver B and <laughs> nut C and do this? Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody shows me, so if, if I have a four minute work, that's a Christian, and I see how he relates to mm. the employees differently than somebody who's not. You know, so yelling and screaming and coercing and manipulation or whatever, as opposed to somebody who's encouraging and praying, mm. right? We Christians, wherever they are, need to be that example sure. right where they are and, right. and model for people. That's, I mean, that's authentic discipleship in mm. my mind. This is a relationship. It's not a religion, you know, it's not a religion. It's not just a Sunday thing, mm -hmm. you know. It's when I first met my wife, you know, uh, I guess she considered herself a C and E Christian. Christmas is an Easter Christian. <laughs> you know, go to church on Christmas and they go to church on Easter. But it's not, it's a way of life. It's a way mm -hmm. of living. I found a new way of living. I'm abiding mm -hmm. in the vine, mm -hmm. you know, abiding in, in that relationship with Christ. Here's a, another question that we've gotten from a viewer. It's uh, totally non-related, but I think something good to look at here. How can we be really sure we're going to go to heaven? I mean, do you really know anyone who has actually been there and is back to tell us about it? I know I sound like a skeptic, but some days I really wonder if this earth is all there is. That's where this well, viewer goes. I would begin with... The scripture says uh, in Hebrews that by two immutable things, it's impossible for God to lie. And God is a God of covenant. Mm -hmm. His amen. promises amen. are yes amen. and amen. amen. And if you trust him, if you believe him, you can take it to the bank. <laughs> whatever, whatever he says, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. And if we put our faith in him, you know, God, God is not going to disappoint. He said, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, nor has it entered into the heart of a man, the, the good, good things, things that God have in yeah. store for them that love him. Yeah. And he'll do it. He, he'll do it for me. He'll do it for you. All we've got to do is supply the faith. Because he's mm -hmm. a promise keeper mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's a God of covenant. Yeah. Amen. Excellent. Have we exhausted that? Ready for the next question? <laughs> no, I want to I answer that go right question. Ahead. Go, go, go right ahead. If you don't mind, sorry. No, brother. not at all. Go right ahead. <laughs> the question is, do you really know anyone who's actually been there and back to tell us about it? You're going to say I'm crazy, but yes, I do. Mm -hmm. no, because I, I know that. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I maybe mm. I've never seen him, mm. but the Bible says that the just shall live by faith mm. and not by sight. That's it. And you know what mm. Jesus said? 
Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. You believe in God, yeah. believe, believe yeah. also so in me. Mm. For in my Amen. Father's house are many mm. mansions. Amen. And if it were not so, mm. I would have told you. Yeah. If it weren't so, I would have told you. Mm. But he's telling you it is so. Yeah. Mm. He said, if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you, you unto myself, myself, that where I am, you may be also. also. He's Amen. been there, Amen. he's done that, and he Amen. told us all about it. Amen. And you know what? We're going. Amen. Amen. We're going. One Amen. day, we're going. <laughs> One day, brother, we're going. Yes. Amen. And what a day that'll be. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's going to come quicker than you, than you think, too. Yeah. I think the earth is getting shaped up for it. Mm. I think it's getting ready. Now yeah. they've got this thing called uh, AI, you know, um, mm. artificial intelligence. Mm. It, 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 it's 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 threatening to replace man, sure. what man can do, sure. you know, and, and just outdo man. Sure. I mean, just going to new level after new level after new level. We're, we're, we're getting there. And uh, I guess our job is to make sure we convey to the people out mm -hmm. there the fact that uh, these things are going on and put them in some sort of sync, succinct order and bring perspective to it so they know that how authentic this Bible really is. Mm -hmm. you know, and the, you know, you know, I, I would ahead. just like to iterate that you can trust God. You can trust God. You know, you can't trust everything and everybody, but you can trust God because he's trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And he's proven himself to be trustworthy. God never lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes, whatever goes, put your trust and somebody who's not going to disappoint you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much. And on, 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 on that note, we're going to take a break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We've got more of your questions to get to. Stay with us. Don't go away. There's still a lot more discussion to come on this episode of Life Questions. But first, do you have a question for a future show? Email it to lifequestions at WTLW.com or call us 419-339-4444. You can also suggest pastures you feel would be a good fit for our panel. Again, send your question ideas and pastor suggestions to lifequestions at WTLW.com. Now, back to the discussion. All right, we're back. Thank you for staying with us. And uh, more questions we have here from uh, you, our viewing audience. And we thank you so much for these great penetrating questions. Here's another one. I am continually reading social media posts that suggest things we are seeing in today's world, war, banking collapse, pandemic, destruction and the like, are signs of the end times. But there have been pastors preaching about the end times for years. What are Christians supposed to believe? Sounds like a legitimate question. What do you think? God. <laughs> let's believe let's, God. Let's believe God. And not your lying eyes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so uh, amazing how the love of God allows us time and time and time and time and gives us the opportunities to make the changes, to make preparation. Uh, but people just seem to don't want to believe God, but his word is going to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. His word is going to be fulfilled and he gives us every opportunity, every opportunity to make that, that transition that we need to in our lives but ultimately it's going to come down to who you're going to believe. And I, I say we need to believe God over everything else. Amen. I, I think probably the best chapter, and we don't have time to read it all on the air, is go read Matthew chapter 24. Oh, yeah. It's a right? good there you go. And, 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 you go. and it lays it out. There's going to be wars and rumors of wars. There's going to be Absolutely. people claiming to be Christ and claim, claiming to be prophets and all of these things are but the birth pains. But, you know, and people get offended when I say this, but the reality is if somebody tells you that they know 
that Jesus is coming back, or when, I say when he's coming back, let me clarify, when he's coming back, run, because that's a false prophet. Because right? yeah. Jesus very clearly says, no one knows the time, not even the Son. Absolutely. Right? But concerning the day or the hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven nor the Son, but the Father only. Amen. So if anybody starts naming dates and times and places, run, just dismiss it. It's yeah. a false prophet, whatever. They've been writing books. They've been writing books about mm -hmm. it. About the end. And, 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 and I, I saw one the other day. It go, went all the way back to 1988. Somebody had oh. written a book because they thought the Lord was coming it, in 1988. They, th they thought the Lord was coming in, in 300. They thought the Lord was coming in 500. They thought the Lord was coming in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. one, you know, 1,000. Here's the thing. If you're focused on the end or when Jesus is coming back, you're missing the whole point of Scripture. There you go. Yeah. Amen. Like, like my brother said, Amen. how are you going to live? Right. Live for the Lord today. That today is the only thing that you're guaranteed. Live for the Lord today. Amen. You know, talk, talk of the end is nothing but a distraction. I mean, yes, the Lord will come. That's His agenda. That's His time frame. We shouldn't be ignorant. We should and pay attention. His... But, the, but the reality is... He's asking me to live today in obedience to His Word. And if I'm not doing that, no matter how much I think I know in my head, Amen. I've missed the whole mark. Amen. Yep. yep. And that 24th chapter of Matthew talks about the uh, faithful servant and the unfaithful servant. Mm -hmm. The faithful servant was Here about his father's business. Amen. He was exactly. working. Yes. He was working Amen. while it's yet day. You yep. know, and, and that's our responsibility to be working. Yes, the Lord's coming. We, need, we know, you know, mm -hmm. but we need to be reaching out I've got lost, lo unsaved loved ones, and I want to see every single one of them. Mm. And so, you know, I, I'm every day reaching out mm. and being about my father's business and occupying till he comes. Amen. I want him to, when he comes, I want him to find me occupying when he gets here. Amen. Say, leave God's business to God and mine ours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another question uh, that we got from viewers. If there is one God... Why are there more than 4,000 religions? And what is the proof that the Christian God is the one true God? I would say 4,000 is a small number because there's over 7 billion people on the planet and most people form a religion based around what they want to believe rather than what God says. And that becomes and, a God. And that becomes a God. I mean, that's idolatry, right? Yeah. That, mm -hmm. It's not a surprise that there are 4,000 plus religions because the reality is, anytime we reject God, we, we have a God of our own making, a right. system of our own beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Deuteronomy chapter 6 is where I would go. This is what the Jewish people call the Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, or Yahweh, our God, the Lord, Yahweh, or Jehovah, is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be upon your heart. You shall read them diligently to your children and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. It's this whole idea, there is one God mm -hmm. and Jehovah or God is mm -hmm. who, how he reveals himself to mm -hmm. us. You know, the, the great I am, mm -hmm. the God who exists, the God who is real. Mm -hmm. And to neglect that is is foolishness, mm -hmm. right? And, and what he's saying is, take my words, make them a part of who you are, and our conformity to the Word of God, mm -hmm. right, is what's going to help us to stay anchored so we're not following an idol, a God mm -hmm. of our own creation. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you got 4,000 different opinions, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, it, can, it can be a uh, a chore. It can be a chore. But what I love about our God is he is the God that have revealed himself. Mm -hmm. He's revealed himself to those that 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 sought after him. You know, we can say our God have given us proof throughout history by his prophets, by the works that he has done. Now, can any other religion say that? I have proof that my God exists. We got a God that have revealed himself time and time again 
over and over again. He's revealed himself through his works, through his prophets, through his prophecies, through his word. And the personal relationship that we can have with him, right? The, the indwelling work of the Holy Spirit that, mm -hmm. that makes us aware mm -hmm. of his presence. Mm -hmm. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Mm, that's right. But Jesus said, I have come that they may have life Absolutely. and that life more abundantly. <laughs> not talking about the eternal, the life after death. He's talking about life now mm -hmm. and that relationship with him and that proof, that proof mm -hmm. that he's real mm -hmm. because of that personal relationship with him. Absolutely. Try to have a personal relationship with yeah. Muhammad, Buddha, <laughs> <Or> Confucius. <laughs> try to have, try to find that personal Excellent. peace, that personal joy, yeah. that personal yeah. walk with them. Yeah. Let me tell you something: you ain't gonna find it. Yeah. You're only gonna find it in Christ. And you know that you're not gonna get Christ to reveal Himself more fully until you do come to Him. Right. And this is what blocks a lot of people from right. accepting Him. Is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they 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 they're living by sight. You know, just like doubting Thomas, you know, he had to see for himself. But the Lord told him, blessed are those who have not seen and still believe. And once you do, you'll see some great rewards. And, and I think people have to be honest with themselves. So, so right, so in, uh, we genuinely have to ask the question, am I seeking God or am I creating a God? Right. Oh, right. right. right? Yeah, yeah. Am, am mm -hmm. I just... I, am right. I finding something that makes right. me feel comfortable? Am I finding right. something that, that scratches an itch? Am I, am I, you know, basically grabbing a little bit of ideas here and there and, and forming something, so, that's convenient. something that's convenient for me Absolutely. that, that, or, or am I, I mean, if, I don't know about you guys, but Jesus uh, didn't ask me my opinion, <laughs> right? He, he, he. It, when we come to him, take up your cross and follow me, yes, right? That's yes. the command, right? It, right. It's surrender. And it, it, if your religion isn't calling you to surrender to a God of love mm. and a God of justice, Amen. you know, and mercy and goodness and all those wonderful characteristics of God, there's something wrong. Right. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's go on for another question that we have here. This is a good one here. How can Christianity be called a religion of love if they condemn those whose lifestyles and views differ from their own. How can you say that Christianity is a religion of love if you're condemning people because their lifestyles and their views differ from your own is what they're saying. Let me jump in real quick and read this. And then, but Matthew 22, 34, it says, but when the Pharisees had heard and had put the Sadducees to silence, they were to gather together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, what is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Of these two commandments hang all the law and all the prophets. If you'll get your relationship with Christ right, if you get your relationship with Christ right, you'll get your relationship with your brother right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because in Christ, it doesn't matter if I'm white and he's black. It doesn't matter. All that matters is, God, is that love of God. Yes. And what Jesus did for me, Jesus did for this brother Amen. too. Amen. You know what I mean? He, there's no respecter of persons with God. Mm -hmm. And if you get your relationship with Christ right, the Holy Spirit will work in you. You'll get your relationship with your brothers right. Amen. And that love, you know, the Bible defines love. Right. Absolutely. Love is patient and mm -hmm. kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, mm -hmm. but rejoices with the truth. So if I'm genuinely loving my brother, I'm going to tell them if they're out of line, right? And, and if there's somebody in the culture that, that doesn't know Jesus yet, doesn't know God yet, I have to lovingly tell them that there's only one way. Mm -hmm. and, and how I do that and how I approach that is where some Christians have tripped over themselves. But, but the truth, I, I want to know the truth. If I'm wrong, mm. I want somebody to tell me the truth, right? right? So I, I can get better. And, and mm. telling the truth somehow is almost labeled mm -hmm. as hateful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but it's, I can do it in a loving way, but I still got to correct you. 
Right. Okay. Well, in, in the limited time we have, let me ask this question. If God, this is uh, from a viewer, if God is really in charge of this earth, then why are there so many bad and evil things happening? God's in charge. Now, why are there so many bad things happening? That's what this viewer is wanting bad to know. Choices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bad choices. Bad choices. God have given us the right to choose. And when we choose that that is contrary mm -hmm. to biblical cheat teaching, mm -hmm. there are consequences. Yeah. yeah. And what we see in our, our communities, in our society, is the product of bad choices. Very well, but somebody want to add to that quickly? We're running out of time. I just say man abandoned God's way of living and rejected his go. law. This is what you're going to get, right? And, and God made humans, not robots. Yes, uh, he did. Right? So that's that Amen. whole choice thing. Amen. And we, we have a Amen. choice or free will to, to choose. Pastor, you want to add quickly to that? I agree with the brothers. It's a it, bad choices, bad decisions. Adam and Eve made a bad choice, and it's just spiraled downhill. Yeah. That's, okay. No, no. We, we got a um, we, we, Okay. Well, we'll just uh, we'll just leave it at that then. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe somebody wanted to pontificate just a little bit longer. Well, we got less than a minute, so we'll wrap it up with that. Gentlemen, I want to thank you for being with us today, and I, I really believe that God has enlightened some people uh, in their lives uh, because of the wisdom that you shared with us on this program today, as well as last week. We thank you so much for being with us. And that is our program for today. We will be back again, of course, next week, and we'll be praying for these brothers and with the stand that they have taken for the Lord today. I'm sure you're going to meet with resistance about that, but we will be praying for you. We'll see you again next week. Until then, I am Bill Harris. We want to thank you for being with us today. Bye-bye. You've been watching TV44's newest locally produced program, Life Questions. Now we'd like your feedback. What did you enjoy about this show and what would you like to see more? Perhaps you have your own questions you'd like us to pose to our panel of pastors in a future show. Submit your questions now by email to lifequestions at wtlw.com or call us with your thoughts. We're able to discuss relevant topics with local pastors right here in the TV44 studio thanks to your financial support. Now is an excellent time to make a one-time gift to TV44 or consider becoming a monthly donor. 100% of your donation stays right here at TV44 and is used to spread the family-friendly, life-changing message of Jesus Christ. Secure donations can be made online at WTLW.com, by phone, by mail, or in person. Again, share your questions for consideration for future shows or just contact us with your comments at lifequestions at WTLW.com.